All right, hey guys, Sly here, and I am finally back for Let's Plays, or playthroughs. I just say playthroughs, because I just sit down and I just play through a game in one sitting, and um, unless it's like spread out multiple parts, like in my System Shock Let's Play. Um, but anyways, we are here with a game that I have personally grown up with as a little kid. It is called Ghouls and Ghosts, and it is for the Sega Genesis. So, this game came out in 1988 in the arcades, and the Sega port came out in 89. As you can see on the copyright at the bottom of the screen there, on the title screen. This is the second in the series of the... Uh, I want to say Ghost series, because what else could you call it? Because it has uh, ghosts in both the titles, because the first game, it was called Ghosts and Goblins, and the second one is called this one, Ghouls and Ghosts. And there was one for the Super Nintendo, but it's not a port. Basically, it's a whole new game. It's called Super Ghouls and Ghosts. Because of course it is. Anything on the Super Nintendo just has had the word Super at the beginning of the title. But anyways, I have a lot of fond memories of this as a kid, because I remember both the Super Nintendo and the Sega Genesis were hooked up at the, um, in the basement. And we had this, like, old, like, fat TV that we play this on. And, uh, this is back in the day where you didn't have your HDMIs and stuff. You had to plug this into, like, a... Into, like, the back of the TV, and you had to switch it to a certain channel to play it. I mean, nowadays, there's, like, ways to get it on a HDTV with like HDMI converters and stuff for old consoles. I debated on getting one, and I debated playing this on my Retron, but um, yeah, I think it just looked like ass. Like I've tried games that took like RGB cables and like running it through a HDMI converter and just makes it just look horrible. But, um, yeah, there's a lot of fond memories of this game. Like, my uh, parents, friends, and their kids would come over, and me and my brother and the kids would just sit down and play this and, like, other games we had, like Earthworm Jim, uh, Altered Beast. Uh, Aladdin. I know we had Aladdin. And we had the Incredible Hulk, which I did a playthrough on, like, a long time back, when I was still in high school. But, uh, yeah. I have a lot of, uh, memories of this. Hold on a second. Yeah, I'm using an emulator, because I think it'd look better. I, s I own the game. I bought it off eBay, because I was like, yeah, my mom made me sell these games a while back. But I'm like, well, guess what? I'm getting them back. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So I'm going to press start, and I'm actually using a wireless Sega Genesis controller to play this, by the way. But, um, let's go into options. So, options-wise, we don't have much to do. Just the music select and sound effects. Uh, difficulty, put it on professional, because I'm pretty sure if you put this on practice, then you will not be able to beat the game. So, set it on professional. I mean, this version's easier than the arcade anyway, so... 
like for example, the checkpoints are very, very forgiving. Like when you go up to a boss in the arcade version and you die at that boss, you go back to the mid-level checkpoint. But in this version, you will get a checkpoint before the boss. So yeah. Di uh, joystick diagonals okay or no diagonals? Do diagonals okay? Because let's say you accidentally hit both down and forward at the same time, basically di or diagonal, and you meant to go forward. Well, with diagonals okay, if you press down and forward, or up and forward or whatever, you'll still move forward. Which is good. You need that. Because you have to be on the ball when it comes to like, jumping over like enemy projectiles and stuff. Uh, Two-player control. Um, I don't even know what this is. What I think it means is... Let's say... You guys choose two player and one player side means they both share the same controller but two player control means okay you two like have your own controller when it's your turn i'm guessing that's what that means i don't really know because i've never played a two player i've only played a one player because this game is a one player game now on to the story. I have to briefly explain the story because for some reason, I'm guessing hardware limitations, this game does not have an intro, but the arcade does. So basically, after events of the first game, Lucifer, or uh, in this game, he's called Loki. Or this version, I mean, he's called Loki. Uh, unleashes monsters once again from the ghouls and ghosts world. And um, Sir Arthur's, your main character's um, love interest, Princess Prin Prin, gets killed. And her soul gets sucked into Loki's body. So basically you have to go to Lucifer's castle, or Loki's, depending on which version you're playing. And you have to get her soul back, basically. So with that out of the way, let's get playing. One player, yep. So, every time you die, or at the start of every level, you'll get this map screen. So, it's self-explanatory. Up top, you got your time score, and high score, whatever. And down at the bottom, you get this box. That is your weapon, and to the right of that is your lives. So we're killing these enemies, which the game calls Skeleton Murderers. I mean, that's what they basically are. So a newest addition to the Ghost games is this magic armor. Now you're probably wondering what this magic armor does. Well, it doesn't grant you an extra hit besides your regular armor, which sucks. But what it does do is... Um, allows you to charge up your attack. So, I'm shooting, right? But when I hold down the shoot button, you get a charge up attack. With each weapon, it's different. Um, I did not grab that weapon, that blue flame, because it sucks ass. Do not grab it. Because it curves downward. Oh, damn it, I got hit. That's okay. But the weapon I got, what the game calls the Discus, is actually pretty handy. Because if you shoot at it and you're crouching... Ooh. Okay, the dagger. The dagger's pretty good. Nah, I died. But the Discus, when you crouch and you throw it, it skims across the ground. Let's say you're going down a hill. And, um... You're going down a hill, and you have to shoot downwards towards an enemy. With the discus, it's literally no problem. You can do just that. And, uh... The dagger here, it's a, very, it's a very fast attack. I like it. Because with certain weapons, you can only have a certain amount on the screen. Like, with other weapons, it's like two or something, but with the daggers it's three, and it flies very fast and can take down, like, a lot of enemies quickly. 
Dare I say it? I think this will be your boss killer. Yes, do not grab that sword. It sucks. Don't grab it. It's basically just a melee weapon. And worse yet, there is a boss in this game that you will not be able to kill if you do grab it. Why did I do that? Uh, I thought I could make it. But yeah, you'll basically just softlock yourself in this game if you um, go to the level 4 boss with that weapon. So, don't do it. Anyways, this is the mid-level checkpoint. So, uh... Yeah. Easy peasy. Yeah, I thought... Yeah, you better be careful with those magicians, because... When you open up a chest, you do have a risk of opening up a magician. And if you have armor on, you will turn into a duck, and if you're in your underpants, you will turn into an old man. Both suck because, well, I mean, it's duck, you're fast, but you can't use your weapons. Nah, damn it. But when you're an old man, you move extremely slow, but you can still use your weapon. But yeah, these games are notoriously difficult, but I'm just being a dumbass. I'm jumping when I shouldn't. Um. And by the way, you can... I didn't realize this until years later, but you can kill the magicians that come out of the... the chests. It's just, as soon as they spawn, they have a bit of an in invincibility frame, so you have to wait and then kill them. But yeah, these worm tentacle things that come out of the ground are very annoying. So, basically just take your time, stay on your toes, all that good shit. Whew. Oh, I would've been so pissed if that worm thing came up and got me. Ooh. Spawned right on top of me, that would have sucked. Okay, so we're at our first boss called the Shielder. So I'm gonna charge up. The knife power up attack is you clone yourself. So here we go. There we go. So basically, you just have to hit his head. Basically, just keep your distance, and what you could do if he raises his head up in the air, you can run under him and shoot upward. But anyways, this is the Village of Decay, as the manual calls it. This level theme has cemented in my brain after all these years. Every time I think Ghouls and Ghosts, I think the song. But after we get back, get uh, through those rock turtles, as they are called, you have to go across this bridge, which breaks at random. I mean, if you played it long enough, you can figure out where it is, but I just brute force it. You know, I just don't care. And by the way, that thing down there, you cannot kill it. But it does love to chase you down, so do make a run for it. Usually there'd be a burning building in the background in the arcade version, but in this version there isn't. Say, so now you got these enemies called uh, the Red Armors. These guys are a bastard to deal with. But yeah, we got them. But now we are at the checkpoint. Mid-level checkpoint. Yeah, you have to be very cautious because 
Ooh, you bastard. But... Yeah. You have to watch out, because sometimes those pots that they drop can contain a weapon, and you'll end up re unintentionally replacing your weapon, so... Why did I jump there? And don't worry about continues, you have an unlimited number of them, so you can continue as many times as you want. Which is good, because I really want to keep the knife. Now what I just did there is spawn a chest, and you can jump back there, you just have to be really lucky. But uh, yeah, you just have to land on that one platform and then jump. So there you go. So much stress. So, I need to explain the chests, right? Basically how this works is... You get the magic armor if you don't get hit while you spawn in. So let's say I spawn into a level, I have the silver armor. On the second chest, if I do not get hit, the magic armor will be there. So that's the, the only way I can explain it. I just turned the other way on accident, that's unfortunate. You can be very unlucky in this game. Don't hate yourself when the game starts kicking your ass. Just keep a cool head and you'll make it through it. Okay, there we go. There's my armor. I almost picked that weapon up. That would have not have been good. Like, that weapon sucks. So does the axe. The axe is ass. Alright, here's the second boss, Cerberus. Alright. Don't panic with the fireballs, you can destroy those. And we took care of Cerberus. Now the time limit, it's not too bad because in the first section you will have three minutes to get through the first section and the second section you'll it will reset to two minutes, 30 seconds every time. Now this level right here can be annoying because this, for some reason this level loves to throw a bunch of weapons at, in your direction. So you have a really high risk of getting a weapon that you do not want. Oh, I was just about to run past and he dropped a stone on me. Those are flying goblins. That's what the manual calls them. Or what the arcade version called them. These enemies sticking out of the walls, these knights are called mud knights or something. I don't know, there's some weird names for these enemies. Like the first level boss is called the Shielder. Like, what is it shielding? I don't get it. I guess he's using his head as a shield? Eh, whatever. Anyways, let's just focus and get through this. What's really annoying about this is the enemies can fly through the walls, but you cannot. <sighs> what am I doing? A game like this, talking and playing at the same time is very difficult. There's the weapon, it's called the Discus. I think I already explained it, it glides along the ground when you crouch and use it. It's useful for the next stage, but um, I still prefer the knife. Regarding the magic armor, 
you do not have to destroy the chest to get the magic box. Do I mean the magic armor? All you have to do is spawn another one in, and then the other one should be the uh, gold armor or magic armor, whatever. Nah, I'm not gonna risk it. So you have to hurry through here, otherwise the floor will crush you, or you'll get crushed, whatever. Don't judge me. Alright, got it. So I don't have to worry about that anymore. Anyways, gonna be riding on tongues now, which does sound weird. Just being said casually. But uh, if you go in those mouths, obviously you'll die instantly. I panicked there. I just jumped when I shouldn't have. But it's whatever, because we do got a checkpoint here, so that's good. Alright, there's a chest here, I gotta be careful though. Duck, jump. There we go. And we are set. Okay, drop on this tongue, and we are at the boss now. I forgot what this boss is called, but it's just some eyeball with a cloud in it. Just uh, keep shooting your weapon at it. Okay, I got stuck. Come on. Ooh, that was close. Anyways, level 4 is called the Crystal Forest. And uh, we're fighting the uh, skeleton murderers again. And uh, you'll get two types of enemies now, in this section at least. These angry looking stone things that uh, shoot projectiles at you. And the worm things that come out of the ground. We'll encounter those shortly. So, yeah, those things. Damn it. I don't want that. I'm gonna be risky, I'm gonna take the bottom route. And I just got gang banged. Wonderful. Yes, I'd love to continue. Yeah, I just had to plug my headphones in because they're running low. <sighs> Alright. I'm guessing going down instead of up was a bad idea. I just have to run forward. Come on. Oof. Okay, I got him. Okay. Gold armor? Yep. Oh shit, I forgot you can't really jump here. Okay, there was nothing I could have done there. Well, I didn't say it was a deathless run. Oh my god. I'm just playing it like a dumbass now. <sighs> okay, I just have to focus.
Wasn't there a second chest here? Or am I... Okay, there it is. I don't know why I didn't jump. I thought it could have passed through me. <sighs> I don't think I died here as much as I did when I was playing by myself. You gotta be joking me. Okay, uh... Yeah, fuck you. It's not even doing damage unless I hit him directly. I think the only thing I can do is just spam the magic attack. That's the only good thing about this thing. Yeah, and it still didn't work. <sighs> Whatever. I'm at this part. This is where the discus would come in handy. This part right here. Now I'm the old man. Okay, another chest. <sighs> I am not having a good time. <laughs> I just want a good weapon. Is it too much to ask for? No, I'm a fucking duck. Oh boy. Thank God for invincibility frames. Okay. What's in there? Discus. Okay, now we're cooking. Yeah, we're not grabbing that. Oh yeah, and these caterpillar things are a nightmare, dude. They will spawn on top of you, and it's annoying. Uh, you fuckwad. Okay, I thought I could dodge that, but okay. Alright, so I'm just jumping all over the place to get the chest to spawn, because they do trigger if you jump in a certain spot or move in a certain area. So, that's why I'm jumping all over the place. Yes! Okay. And I messed it up by jumping like an idiot. It's whatever, I got it. Ooh. Alright. Magic armor, yes, there we go. I skip down certain area. Nah. Okay. This game really does stress you out, though. <laughs> Okay, there we go. I don't care. I got armor. Okay. Okay, so... We got this boss called Omi. So... First heart, you could just crouch down here and kill it quickly. 
took two hearts down. This boss fight is really annoying. It really is. So you just want to wail on the hearts, right? But no, these worm things. I almost got knocked off the to my death. That would have not have been fun. And that shit, when they come out of nowhere and just swipe your ass. Don't worry, I got it though. Just crouch down here and just spam. Are you? <clears throat> Sometimes that shit happens. So you just want, yeah, you, sometimes you just get really unlucky. Imagine playing the arcade version of this, dude, you would go mental. Okay, the game's fighting back on me now. supposed to do there <sighs> so yeah basically this boss called Omi or whatever Ohm, whatever it's called the whole goal is to kill all five of its hearts but it's hard to do when these things are spawning endlessly Eventually. Just hang tight. Okay, that's two down in a short amount of time. That's good. I must have hit it off screen. Okay. I'm not complaining. I'll take it. Okay, hurry through here because these dragons will mess you up. And look, it's our. Get over here. Get down here. Yeah, you bastard. Are you kidding me? Dude. Whatever. I'm not I'm not opening that chest then. Fuck you then. Can I not Yeah, we've got another one here. Fucking hell, dude. Yeah, 
guess we get fucking taunting me. Thank God I have the knife. What the hell? I literally just... Mm. And I have to start back here. That's wonderful. That's fucking wonderful. If this dragon would get out of the damn way, that would have been... Fantastic, but no. I swear, these types of games have like a pissed off sensor, it just knows it's tilting me. It just knows. If I die here again, I swear to God. Do not grab that. Okay, there we go. Okay, he's had to figure out the pattern. Nah, it's just being stupid. Well, we got a checkpoint, I don't care. So. Go. Now go. I. Dude, I was up the ladder. By the way, that's the final boss from the first game. I think his name's Satan. Mm. Yeah, and we have those two shielder arms that uh, we have to deal with. How the hell? I've done that before without getting hit. How did I do it? Would have been ten times easier with the armor, but I managed, I guess. And you got two of these guys, so it's basically just a giant boss rush. And we're also been giving extra time here, as you can see. Yep, die. I'm trying to keep my armor, man. This game's pissing me off and it won't let me. There we go. That's how I managed to do it. Okay, there we go. Well, let's see if I can time this just right. Okay. course. But yeah, you can have those first uh, fireballs miss you if you time your charge up attack. I am not grabbing that. I... 
I jumped, but okay. That's the kind of frustrating part about this, is just sometimes the controls just feel unresponsive. How did I not... Seriously, get pissed, dude. I'm not taking the damn sword. Quit it. For fuck's sake. Like, seriously, man. Okay, there we go. Oh wait, I get hit again! Dude, if I beat this whole section in my in just my underpants, I would be amazed. Yeah, you better spawn. isn't even that much better. Stick him with the dagger, thank you. Come on, man. Give me a fucking break. Okay, there we go. I got it down now. Whoa, what the? Oh, that didn't spawn in one chest, that's probably why. That's okay. I got through this no problem, so... <sighs> Time to mess him up. How? Okay, spawn that one in. There you go. There we go. Are you kidding me? I timed that shit. Don't, don't you fucking lie to me, game. Okay, I guess we're not gonna do that thing, so... I was curious what this will give me. Yes, yeah, sword. Not taking this shit. God, what am I doing? 
freaking out, dude. Just when I was about to jump over him. Of course you would, you bastard. Yes. Okay. Goblins. All I care about. Okay, there we go. Alright. So. Okay. Okay, I don't care. This is the checkpoint. So after you beat this boss, you have to play the game again. You have to loop it again. And I'll explain it after this boss fight. There was no way of avoiding that, but okay. Don't worry, I got this. Bastard, isn't he? <sighs> Alright. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Again with that shit. Yes, I did it. But anyways, watch this. Arthur, you've done well so far, but you will not be able to defeat Loki, who's behind the door. Go back to the village and get the magic power from the goddess, or the goddess of battle. What? I think you meant goddess. Arthur, put on your magic armor and open the magic box. I'm sure that the goddess will appear. Good luck, Arthur. I believe that you will defeat Loki. So, let me explain this. So, there's a new weapon now that you can come across called the Goddess's Ring, I believe it's called. And in order to get access to it, you have to first equip the magic armor and then open a chest and pray that the Goddess will appear and give you the uh, weapon. Got all that? Good, because we're gonna need it. Yes! Okay. Grab it. So this actually is a very powerful weapon, and you cannot beat the game without it. If you show up to the last stage and don't have it, it will send you back. So... So how it works is... If you're in your underwear, it's very weak, but if you have magic armor on, uh, it reaches far and hits harder. So, it should be smooth sailing from here on out. Ooh. 
Oh yeah, and also destroys projectiles, so those skulls that that thing, that enemy throws, I can destroy them out of the air now. So it is a powerful weapon. See, I'm just tearing through this no problem. See, even took that pig down no problem. Even with the knives, it took me a while. But no, I'm just trying to... Oh, there, there was a pig enemy up there. Apparently not anymore. Let's see how quick I can take down this boss. <laughs> Very quickly, apparently. <sighs> Alright. Back to the Village of Decay. I'm gonna be blowing through this no problem, I think. Yeah, as you can see, I don't have the... Magic Armor, so it's not reaching that far. Now it's reaching even less farther. These enemies are called rock turtles, by the way. I don't know if I've spoken on this. What just hit me? I don't even know what the hell just hit me. So... Now I'm just playing like a jackass. It's like if it's like the moment you stop moving, you're you're basically fucked. So but yeah, this shit right here. <sighs> Finally. I forgot to mention, this game is also ported to the um, Super Gra Turbo Graphics 16, I think, or the PC Engine. I think it was also ported to. Um, what else was it ported to? It was ported to the Master System, but that was different because I think you had a life meter. I could be wrong though, but it also had like a shop system. Which is nuts. It's also ported to Xbox. Do you? I mean, I guess I'm. I can't get too angry because I am keeping the Goddess's Ring, which we do need. But um, as you saw, I took out that red armor. That's what those enemies are called for some reason but um yeah i took him down like no problem with the goddess ring so this is a very powerful weapon is there a chest here hmm, apparently not unless i'm going nuts why did i jump there that's a thing that's hard about this game. You cannot move when you jump. Like in other games, you can steer yourself when uh, you jump. This game, you cannot. If you make one jump, chances are it will probably be a death sentence half the time. Alright, let's see how quick I take down the Cerberus. Also, the Goddess Ring is the only uh, weapon in the game that does not have a charge up attack, so keep that in mind. <laughs> now it's easy now. Bruh. 
Anyways, I got my magic armor, which is good. I remember the, uh, from when I heard the, the shield item, which is that one item that you would need to have to beat the game. Um, it didn't do that good damage, or it just shot really slow, but it did block enemy projectiles, so... Oh boy, okay. <sighs> it's very easy to get hit in this game. That's all I'm gonna say. Absolutely not. I'm not grabbing that flame weapon. You're not turning me into a duck. <sighs> okay. I'm probably going to do a arcade version of this at a later date, if you guys want it. Okay. I thought I got hit for a second there, I would have shit myself. I didn't want to open that chest because I thought there's going to be a weapon in there It's going to make me grab it. And I tried to jump over the chest and it wouldn't let me. Okay. Well, I know there's going to be a magician in there, which is no problem. I thought I could drop down on that platform, but I did it too early. Okay. I got this. Just give me a moment. There we go. Perfect. Beautiful. Come on, let's go. Alright, we're back to the cloud boss again. Now, yeah, whatever. I just tanked it. Are you... Nope, everything's fine. Everything's fine. So the closer you are, the more damage it does, basically. That was a risky move, but I went for it anyways. There we go. 
Oof, that would have been bad. No. I try to get some armor, and then it does that shit to me. I'm done. I'm, I'm just done with everything right now. Yeah, kill me now. purposely kill myself there because I need as many chests as I can get. I need that goddess ring or else I'm not going to be able to beat the actual game. I'm both going to kill myself again. Yeah, 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 I'm a duck, whatever. Yes, give it, give it, give it. Okay, I got it back. Alright, calm down now. Why'd you have to do that to me, game? What have I done to you? I've done nothing to you. I've been so good to you. Alright, back to Ohm again. Omi, whatever his name is. Yep. Destroy two hearts, no problem. Scared shitless to go anywhere, though. That's why. I'm gonna do it. There we go. I think I did it first try, too. That's impressive. <sighs> I'm completely locked in now. Doing that shit to me again with the first run. Yeah, not grabbing that. I just need armor. That's all I that's all I care about. That's all I want. Are you 
give me armor? No, you're just gonna give me a freaking magician. Oh my god, he climbs up slow up the ladder too. Okay, there we go. Sorry I'm not talking much, I'm really trying to focus. Again, too close. Okay, what is this game's obsession with the sword? I do not want it. Okay, there we go. Got hit, do not like it. Alright. Now uh, after this boss, which is called Beezlebub by the way. Oh, it doesn't block the, those projectiles. Okay. But as I was saying, after this, then it's the final boss, which is Loki. Or Lucifer, depending on which version you're playing. I'm just brute forcing it. There you go. Alright. I think it would send you back if uh, you made it to this part without the goddess ring. Anyways, just. This target's his head, just keep shooting at his head and you'll be fine. Keep firing away and you'll eventually get him. Yep, I got him. <sighs> and that is Ghouls and Ghosts for the sake of Genesis, done and dusted. And, uh, yeah. Let's read this, shall we? Congratulations. I think it's supposed to say congratulations, but. Loki restored the ghouls and ghosts world which have vanished three years ago. Arthur has finally defeated Loki, warrior the strongest in the world. Okay, Arthur had known at the time when he defeated the demon that the ghouls and ghosts world might, might be restored someday. Okay, he prepared for the new enemy by improving weapons and giving magic power to each weapon. If it had not been for the magic power, even Arthur could have been defeated long before he reached Loki. Looked like a bee. On top of the magic power, Arthur obtained the Psycho Cannon form Valkyr. What? Then after a dreadful battle, he finally defeated Loki. People's souls, which had been captured in Loki's body, were released, and the Princess of Hus was revived. The Earth has been restored to its peaceful self, thanks to Knight Arthur. However, there is no reason the Ghouls and Ghosts world will not be restored by someone someday. Is Arthur's battle truly over? And basically it's just this whole roll call of, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, holy hell, dude. <laughs> I haven't raged that hard in <laughs> quite a long time, but I managed to do it, and, uh, yeah. And I'm glad, I'm glad to have finally got this done. It's a chapter in my life that I have closed. 
because I beat this once before I decided to do this uh, playthrough. I am very proud of myself for it. But yeah, like I said, it's a good game. All the Ghouls and Ghosts games are good. You just have to stick with it and just accept the fact that you are going to die over and over again. And it's all very rewarding, you know. Like when you beat a boss, it does feel very good. And I believe a while back I played the successor to this game, or like a game that was inspired by Ghouls and Ghosts called uh, Curse Castilla. Uh, check that game out too. You know, it's it's good. And, uh... Yeah, I think that's all I have to say. Except, uh... I enjoyed doing a playthrough of this, even though I raged hard. I'm glad to, uh... Go through my childhood like this. And, uh... Yeah, if you guys like what you saw, uh, do stop by my channel, even though I don't really upload that often, because I love to upload, upload more of this stuff. Anyways, this is Sly, I'm out.